Hi everyone, uh, I decided to do a video that I'm going to call my favorite things. Um, if you've realized I don't really put up that many monthly favorites videos, I used to, but then I realized it didn't really work for me because my favorites stay my favorites. <laughs> because if I like it enough to be my favorite, chances are it's not going to all of a sudden turn into something that I hate. So, um, and I'm pretty much a creature of habit, so my favorites don't really change all that often. So some of these things are old, some of them are new, um, it really kind of varies, but I decided that this was a better option for me rather than doing monthly favorites, which wouldn't change all that often and would become pretty boring. So um, here's my first round of my favorite things. And as things change, I'll probably do like an updated version or something, but in the meantime, these are the things that I love. So I'll start with makeup, and I'll start, I guess, with the basics. So foundation is the basis of your makeup. And my first thing is the Beauty Blender. And I'm sure either most of you have either heard of it, and if you haven't heard of it, you've seen it, or um, maybe you have one, I don't know. But I bought one a long time ago, and I used it for a little bit, and then I stopped using it. I don't really know why. Um, but I went to just applying with my fingers. Uh, and then I saw somebody applying their foundation with this in a video on YouTube, and I was like, oh, I'm going to whip mine out again, take them out of hibernation, and give it a whirl. And they really give you the most flawless finish for your foundation. You have like a totally, it's totally an airbrush look that it gives you. It makes your face and skin look absolutely gorgeous. So I highly, highly recommend them. Definitely one of my favorite things. And only when it's wet. When you get it soaking wet and then wring it out and then use your use it for your foundation, that's when it gives you the airbrushed, airbrushed look. I've never tried it with it dry, but I would imagine that it wouldn't have the same effect. So that's favorite number one. Favorite number two, staying in line with the um, basic items that you put on your face, is uh, by Bare Minerals, and it's called, whoops, it's called Well Rested. And it's basically a concealer that they make, but you can put it also over whatever concealer you normally use. So sometimes I use this by itself, and sometimes I put it on over my uh, Bobbi Brown corrector. Um, but it's really, really amazing. It totally brightens your under eye area. Uh, I had heard so many rave reviews that I just had to try it out for myself, and I absolutely love it. And sometimes I even put it on my um, eyelids instead of eyeshadow, just so that you don't see any, like, you know, veininess or discoloration in your eyelid. Um, it just makes it look really pretty, really smooth, and I can wear it just with eyeliner, and it gives you a really, just a classic look and, and mascara, of course. Um, but so that's favorite number two, Well Rested by Bare Minerals. Um, to go along with that, since I wear it sometimes only with eyeliner, my all-time favorite eyeliner, I dabbled in MAC for a while, but my eyes are very, very sensitive, and for some reason, MAC eyeliners make my eyes water like crazy they like trigger my allergies or something and they just I'm like a walking water fountain from my eyes when I use whenever I've used um, MAC eyeliners so um, I I've, I've used Chanel forever uh, this is my all-time favorite liner and you can see how much I've used it it's like completely to the nitty-gritty so I just recently bought a new one so I'm not going to show you this one I'll actually swatch it for you it's like a bronzy color brown bronzy they actually, the first time I got this was as a gift. One of my friends, girlfriends got me for um, my birthday one year with a bunch of other Chanel makeup. Um, but so this is, you know, in the box, it comes like this. The color is number 66 called Brune. And it's just a really, really, really pretty color. I wear it every single day. I find that black is a little bit harsh for me for every day. I mean, for me at least, maybe for you it's not. But since my hair and my skin tone's a little lighter, sometimes I find blacks to be very intense for me so it's more a nighttime look but I love that for every day and it's a little bit bronzy so it's not just like a traditional brown um, eyeliner so I love that um, I always since I'm fair and I don't go in the sun all that much I'm always on the hunt for an awesome bronzer and I have finally found my all-time favorite bronzer and it is also by Chanel it's the bra um, oh I'm sorry I think it used to be called bronze universal and now it's Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, it's awesome. It's like a mousse um, that's really, really, it gives you really amazing color. Uh, you can't tell at all because you can never tell any colors that I have on my face for some reason on these videos. But it's probably because I haven't figured out lighting and I, I don't think I ever will. I'm not really good with that stuff. But anyways, besides the point, 
Um, it's a really amazing bronzer. It gives me a really natural looking color. It doesn't look like I have orange on my face or like, oh my God, that girl has put a lot of bronzer on her face. It looks like I'm naturally, you know, sun kissed. So I absolutely love it. At first it was a bit of a struggle because I think I was using the wrong brush with it and I couldn't get any of it to come off onto my brush. But then I got this one at Target, which is another one of my favorites. It's a Sonia Kashuk. Um, I don't even know what it's called. It's just a flat brush. And it's really the best thing I found to use the um, the Soleil, Soleil Tan. Because I go like this, and when I dab it, I kind of pull it down a little bit so that more product comes off on the brush. And then I just kind of rub it, brush it in. Really, really amazing brush. Even more amazing bronzer. Um, and then, so in a haul video that I did, I can't remember when, I bought the... Um, Blah, 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 blah. The, one of those Amazonian clay blushes from Sephora and the free 500 point perk gift that month was the this blush by Benefit called Coralista and I got it for free and I've actually used it so much more than I actually used the um, the Tarte one. I do like the Amazonian clay blush. It's very very pretty but for some reason I find this color so flattering and beautiful so I end up wearing this pretty much every single day. So that's another favorite. Um, this one, I think I've mentioned it before, but my all-time favorite mascara, and I just ran out of it, so this is a new one, is also by Benefit. It's called Bad Gal Lash, and it's the bomb diggity. Um, it just gives you volume and length all at the same time. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, and then my last, is it? My last makeup item, yay, is um, this lip stain by CoverGirl. Outlast lip stain and I don't know if it has a name but it's number 415 and it's really really beautiful no it's not what I'm wearing now um, but it's like a pretty like pinky reddish I mean on me since I'm fair it looks like a like a strong color but if you have a little bit more coloring than I do it's probably not quite as um, as intense but I love it it's really really beautiful and it lasts forever I usually just put this and if I'm not feeling like I want such intense lips I'll put a um, like almost a nudish lipstick or some kind of gloss that's somewhat pigmented and a lighter color over it and it, it looks absolutely beautiful okay so that's it for makeup now I'll go into jewelry I'll continue with the things that you wear and then I'll end with the household couple of household items that are my favorites um, a couple weekends ago I went to brunch with my boyfriend and there was some girl selling jewelry that she made outside in one of those little um, booths that they have sometimes like at art festivals and stuff but at this particular mall she has it set up all the time and I got two bracelets that I love one is this and it's you know a Swarovski crystal heart I'm heart what am I saying it's a cross <laughs> it's like a little diamondy cross bracelet it's beautiful um, these stones it's like a purpley stone that has kind of like a shimmer to it and I don't know what the name of that stone is but I love it and the cross ha is in rose gold and it has little hearts on the side it's super adorable and then the other bracelet that I got from her is this one which is lapis and it has a gold bead in the middle and it's strung in, um, this is hemp actually, but this bracelet is super cute. I wear it with just jeans and a t-shirt and I mean anything really. So those are my two favorite bracelets. Um, then one of my, the thing that I wear pretty much every Friday, we have casual Fridays at my office and I wear high heels, pumps, whatever you can think of that's high. I wear it during the whole week. So by the time casual Fridays come along, the last thing I want to do is wear heels. So pretty much almost every single Friday at work, I wear my Tory Burch Riva flats. Um, and these are in brown. I've had them for 100 years, literally. I can't remember when I got them. They're the best flats in the world. They're so, so comfortable. Um, so they're definitely my all-time favorite pair of shoes. Super comfortable. I just got another pair because this was the only pair that I have and I'm wearing them to death. I have to actually get them fixed because they're starting, the rubber's starting to come up on the bottom a little bit, which really bothers me. And it makes me trip sometimes. So not cool. But I just ordered a black pair because they were having friends and family and um, shop bop. 
So I got 15% off. They're not the cheapest shoes in the world, but they're well worth the investment. And like I said, I've had those for years and years and years. And obviously, they're just now, I just now have to repair them. So highly recommend those shoes. Um, another thing that I just got, but so I haven't worn it even yet, but I know it's going to be a favorite, is this adorable pink blazer from Zara. It is so adorable and it's going to be awesome for spring. Well, it is spring, but it's going to be awesome for spring and summer. Obviously, I won't be able to wear it really outdoors in the summer if I'm going walking anywhere because it's scorching hot in Miami in the summertime. But it's a stunning, awesome blazer. And since I'm in South Florida, I'm in Miami, I can wear it pretty much year-round. It's pink, whatever. And the button I thought was so cute. It's really adorable. Um, so I love it. And like I said, I haven't worn it yet, but I know I'm going to wear it to death. And then this... Well, let me save this for last because this is so freaking cute and I have details to show you. Um, okay, my favorite household item. My boyfriend and I are, are into elephants. And I love Jonathan Adler. I've always loved his style, the things that he makes for the home. Um, his, uh, what is it called? Embroidered pillows I really want to get. Um, I want to get the one that says love on it for our apartment because I think that would be so cute. But, um... He makes these, he made these adorable little elephant salt and pepper shakers. I thought, we thought they were so cute. It's just like one is standing and one is sitting and they have little hearts on their bums, which, you know, my favorite thing is the heart. So just really, really adorable little salt and pepper shakers. Love. We also got a little candle holder that's the same, but I figured I'd just show you one set because it's easiest. And now, this is freaking adorable. I saw them when I was in Target looking for I don't know what. And I was passing by the music section. And I had actually just seen a mention of them in, um, I think it was In Style magazine, maybe. And they are the Harajuku Lovers, uh, which is the, the line by Gwen Stefani, the Monster Earbuds. And they come in a box like this, which I love the box. I kept it to show you. It just opens like that. They're not in here anymore, but... It says, Harajuku girls, you got the wicked stab. Um, but the box is really nice. They come in this cute little case that you can take with you to store them in. And then these little earbuds, you're going to die. You're going to die. They look like this. They have the little, a little Harajuku girl on them. And these little things, you can clip them off. So they have a bunch of different ones. Let me show you. I'll show you the different gals. There's this little dude, or this little chick. The purple chick. There's the pink chick. Well, I should call this one the red chick. And then, this one's like the pinky chick. Isn't she cute? Aren't they so adorable? So it comes with four different sets of clip-on thingies to put onto your earbuds. And I just love them. I thought they were so adorable. I couldn't pass them up. I can't remember how much they were, but they're not cheap. I think they were like maybe $60. Um, but they're really good quality earbuds. Monster is the same company that makes the, um, the Beats by Dr. Dre, which I know are also very popular. Um, and they're good quality headphones. I like them. They work, they work really well. So that's it. Those are my favorite things. I feel like singing the Sound of Music song, but I'll spare you. Um, anyways, yeah, that is it. So I hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you all soon. And I hope you're having a lovely week, weekend, day, whatever. <laughs> Have a great one. Talk to you soon. Bye.